I've actually already recorded this video and I was sitting there editing it and it just didn't feel genuine. So I'm trying again. Here is the story. For the longest time, I have always been envious of people wild camping. You see these pictures on Instagram of people in their little tents parked up on the side of a cliff with this incredible view in front of them. And I was always envious of that because it's something that I never thought I could do. I've never been a camper. The idea of camping never appealed to me. No showers, no electricity, nothing at all. I never thought I could do it. But the more I see of this little blue planet, the more I just want to get lost in it. So it came to a time where wild camping just seemed like the next thing to do. So I bought all the gear, bought the tent, the sleeping bags, sleeping mats, camping stove, everything and we set out on our first wild camp. honest with you the reason I wanted to get into wild camp was because the locations that the, these people were in where you'd see the little tent um, just in the middle of this enormous landscape that appealed to me I wanted to get that sort of photo I wanted to be in that little tent and get the photo and I mean really that's for the wrong reasons so we booked a trip to Wales for a week and the first half of the week was spent on the west coast which was beautiful, totally relaxing, didn't really do much which was perfectly fine because holidays tend to be very very busy so it's nice just to slow down a bit. And then the second half of the holiday we were going to one of the national parks and so we bought all this gear and I said why don't we just take it with us, we'll pack it in the suitcase and if we feel like going for a camp if the weather is right We'll give it a go. We don't have to go very far, just for a small hike, see how it is. So we're driving into the national park and as we come in, there's these beautiful hills, massive hills, either side of the valley, just practically swallowing you. And I'm looking around and I'm thinking, yeah, this is just incredible. Like I was buzzing with excitement. I couldn't wait to get out there. All I wanted to do was get out there in the tent and experience it. And to be honest, I was I was quite nervous about it. I kept thinking of what if. So what if the weather turned on us? What if we couldn't find a super suitable camping spot? What if we ran out of water? And it was kind of like, well, what if you have the time of your life? How are you feeling about your first wild camp? Good. How are you feeling? I was nervous, but now I'm just hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. So we set out after lunch, and it wasn't necessarily a hard hike. It was, it was pretty easy, it was pretty flat for the most part. The further and further we got away from civilization, the more excited I got because that's the thing about hiking. You start to lose yourself. So once you get away from people, once you get away from towns, I 
can't even tell you the feeling. It's kind of like being awake. You're alive. As long as we can avoid the boggy mess that this is, we should be all right. <laughs> It's not exactly flat, is it? How about you just send out the drone? <laughs> That's how I tell if it's if it's flat or not. So we hiked for a couple of hours and we found the most perfect spot to set up for the night. And the best part was there was no one else there. It was just us. So we couldn't have asked for a better experience, really. The weather was perfect, the location was perfect, the view was perfect. So everything just worked out fine. spot, we set up our tent, and when you're sitting there and it's just you and your person and you have this incredible view in front of your face, that's when it hits you and you realise that life is pretty good after all and that you're best to cram in as much as you can while you can. It's not about the camping, it's not about the photography, it's not getting that banger photo so that you can post it on social media. It's about having the time of your life, every day, until the end. So back to what if. What if you have the time of your life?